Guitar and Excel, Spreadsheet Creation Mapping the Path to Fretboard Enlightenment, part number 12. Get ready, because it's time for our guitar skills to Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay, because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but we started in a prior presentation, so... If you're using a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. However, if you do have access to the workbook, we got a whole bunch of tabs down below, including the example tab, which is the finished product, the end result, in essence, the answer key, the starting point tabs corresponding to the video presentations as we work through this long practice problem, the blank tab representing where we started with a blank worksheet and where we will continue at this time with a quick recap to start out with. So we started our project by listing out the musical alphabet in a column format, A and then the sharps and flats being the lowercase a, b, c, uh, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, or E flat, E, F, F sharp, or G flat, G, and then G sharp, or A flat, and then we repeat that process. We then numbered our notes, useful both for Excel formatting and for memorization purposes, so that we can start thinking about the intervals. We combined the two together. We created our fretboard on the left-hand side from that information with both just numbers as well as numbers and the letters. Then we constructed our scales and we tried to make them so that we can adjust to the different scales with our key here in uh, which I, if I put a four is the C where we started and if I change it to a six it changes to D and everything related to it should then change. We created our worksheet from that which gives us the uh, major scale information including the relative positions one two three four five six seven notes in the scale and then the roman numerals capital or not capital or uppercase or no will show us whether or not it's going to be constructing a major or minor scale we also have the intervals up top and whatnot which we'll play with we've put the same information in terms of a circle we have the same thing with the numbers and the letters down below then we created the related the related modes, including the minor or aeolian mode related to the C major or whatever we put in that green cell that we started with, then the Dorian, then the Phrygian, and then the uh, Lydian, Mixolydian, and finally the Lokian. So now that this is all great because now we can think about how these things relate to the major scale and we can use this same fretboard to practice all of those different modes because all the same notes are in that fretboard but it's also useful that sometimes we want to switch when we're playing between uh not between the relative scale if i'm in the c major i might want to go to like a c minor or a c dorian which has different notes in the scale but i can use that as the pivot point so what we want to do now is start copying this stuff down i would like to have below this one a a C, the, the the related modes below it and that way i can scroll down to the ones below it and i can use a different fretboard i can make the same fretboard down below so i can easily scroll up and down between the two fretboards when i'm going from a c major save to uh like a c minor all right so that's what we're going to do now so i should be able to do some nice copying and pasting when i copy and paste below I'm not going to use the major because I want to use one of these over here that we had good practice with and we got all the formatting down so that we can copy it over easily. So I'm just going to go over here to like the Dorian. I'm going to copy everything related to the Dorian the way we did before, but instead of taking the entire column, because I'm not going to the right, everything should be formatted uniformly. So I'm just going to take the actual cells. I'm going to put my cursor around the top cell, make a square around this whole thing down to here. So I have everything I need for that's related to this grouping. I'm going to say copy, and then I'm going to paste that underneath this time the major so here's the major one here's where the actual information related to the major scale is this stuff over here is all the notes right so i want to be in column a e i'm going to go down below in a e and control v or right click and paste so there we have it now it looks kind of like a mess because now it's it's trying to pull this note in 
and it can't do it because the relative cell is on the right. But that's okay because now what I'm gonna do is just say that this first note is gonna be equal to the same note as the major up top, that number four. So that one is going to be the same. And then what I'd like to do this time, instead of copying that down, what, what I need to do is I'm gonna first look at the formula. So I wanna look at the relative formula. So uh, you'll recall that the formula up here for the major was whole, whole, half, uh, whole, 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 half. I'm just gonna look for the formula that's gonna be related to, in this case, we're looking at the minor. So I'm gonna call this uh, minor. And, and I'm gonna do this by saying equals, I'm gonna scroll up and find the related minor. So I'm gonna say, this is the major, the related minor is over here and I can copy that same name. So there's the related minor. The name is then pulling in and then, so now this is the C minor, not the related minor to the C major, which would be A minor. A minor is related same notes as C major. The C minor is gonna be different notes, but pivoting around that central one note of the C. So now what I wanna do is find the minor, the minor formula. So I'm gonna say this equals, I'm gonna go find a minor that we fixed up top. So here's the minor formula. And I wanna pick up that number two and just copy that formula down. So I'm gonna say enter. And then I'm just gonna copy the minor formula down that we created before. And that should populate then uh, this information. Hold on a second. Now this information, I'm gonna say, let's pull that from actually our major our major stuff. So I'm gonna say now we kind of reversed the format. So if I look at my major, this one we created with this if then function. So I'm gonna use this formula and I'm gonna put that down here. So so what we're just doing is is taking this plus this, but it goes if it goes over 13, then I'm gonna have to subtract the 12 to get us back to where we need to be when it goes around the horn or over the top past 12. I can copy that down and that should give us our, uh, our formula. So then we have our notes over here. So that, I think that's populating properly. Everything else should populate properly. And so now we have this one, this should populate properly. All of these I think are going to populate uh, properly. And then down here, we have now the minor, which is mapped out with uh, the, a C minor as opposed to the relative, again, A minor, and then it's mapped out over here, which, which looks good. So now I can move from here. I can say, okay, I'm gonna move from a C uh, uh, major and then move down and then start playing with the C minor down below. So now I also might wanna put my, my I'll just copy the fretboard down here too. So I'm gonna put the fretboard down here. I'm gonna put it so it corresponds to this area. So I'm gonna say this equals, I'll do both of them again. I'll say this equals the one without, the one up top here. I'm gonna copy that across. And I think it goes to right there. And then I'm gonna just, I'll just copy the whole thing down. I could just copy this whole thing down and then boom, down, I go too far and then I delete this last bit. And then I can copy the formatting. So now I'm just gonna go up top and copy the formatting of this whole thing and go to the home tab, clipboard format painter. And I'll bring that down here and just format paint it. And so there is that. Then I also wanna do another one that has the letters involved in it. I want it to line up to, to this area to right there in that row. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's do it. This equals this one this time. And I'll copy it to the right, all the way to the right. And then down, I'll copy it too far and then I'll fix it, right? So there it goes down to there and then I'll delete that last one. And then I'll just format paint this one. So we're gonna just format paint it I'm gonna take this whole thing. This has the, 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 the conditional stuff, but I think that won't mess anything up. Home tab, clipboard, format, paint it. And then I'm going to paste that right there 
and you've got the conditional formatting, but we can clear those uh, if, if we wanted to clear the conditional formatting. So now I can see these two side by side. I can say if I hid these cells from here to here, right click and hide, I can say, okay, I'm in, I'm in this, the C major. And then I, I could, if I'm working here now, notice I might not want this with the numbers. So I could hide this, right click and hide. And then I could, I might not need this one, right? I could hide this and say, I don't need that bit, right click and hide. So now I can be working, okay, here I am using the C major. And if I wanted to then go over here and, and transition to the related minor, I could go here and I can hide these if I wanted to, to have them side by side, or I can say, I'm gonna go from the major down to the minor. So, and the minor is gonna have a different fretboard related to it, which will allow us to easily transition. So I can say, I'm gonna start working on going from the, the major up top and the C major to the, uh, not the relative minor, which would be A minor, but rather down here to the, the C minor. And so then I can say, how can I map out the C minor? So if I started to kind of play around with this, I could say, okay, if I'm playing around and I'm just kind of playing on the guitar, I could say, okay, I'm playing in C major. And then maybe I transition and see if I can transition to orientating myself around the minor or orientating myself around the Dorian or something like that any other mode that I want, which has all the same notes. And then maybe I can go back to orientating around the C, use that as my pivot point to then try to transfer to the C minor instead of the A minor, and then try to play around with it. And that has a whole different set of uh, notes here. So then I can try to map that out and see if I can uh, kind of play around from going that way. So that's how, the, that's how I'm thinking the worksheet could be useful. So let's unhide here and we'll continue this process. I'm going to unhide this and then we'll unhide this. And then uh, we'll continue that. So I'll get, I'm going to continue that down so that we just did the minor. And just like we did with when we went to the right, the reason I started with the minor underneath uh, instead of the Dorian, because that would be the, the next one is because the minor is most common. So notice if I if I went through the modes, you would think I would say this is the major and then you'd go to Dorian. But we jumped over to the minor because the minor in Western music is usually the most useful. So you go you go the major and then the minor and then I'll go around. I'll just go around the loop for the rest of them, which will be uh, next the Dorian.